bag. I have two. Hi everyone, an extremely warm welcome back to my channel. My name is Ellie and today we're going to be doing a vlog all about the range. I'm going to start off with probably my most favourite thing ever. Let's take the tag off of you before we get you going. I saw this little guy here and I thought I can't leave him. I nearly bought two but I didn't because there was only two left and I thought I can't really take both of them. Ooh, how cute is he? He's just his little gonk with an acorn on his head as a hat. I just thought he was so cute. I do have a collection of gonks already and there will be more gonks in this vlog. I just thought I don't know whether he's going to stay inside or outside yet. When we come to mix the decor up and put the autumn decor in. We'll decide where he goes because I have got one big gonk outside but I have got quite a few inside so we shall see. Next as you can tell I've already got a few down there because I've got a little boy he is only three so when it does start to get dark at night which it won't do for a little while yet I know I don't really like to have live candles flowing and having these do really help so it helps set the mood because when it starts getting dark at like five Oh, I love it. Closing the curtains, getting the fake candles on. And so I thought these would be a really good addition to the family. They are the set of Red Hurricane LED candles. They do require batteries, obviously, because they're not real. But I just thought that they were really cute and how they were displayed. I think they look all right in a row. But I quite like them when they're all together. So you've got your tall one, then your short, short one, and the short one. But they're all in like a circle. So I did think that they were really cute. Should we get them out? Should we get one out? Right, so after taking about 25 minutes to open that up, this is what they look like. I think they are quite cute. That is the second one compared to the tallest one. And then the shortest one compared to the smallest one. I don't know if I can try and, let's see if I can try and get them together. No, I can't. Let's go to bag number one. Oh. That was rather heavy so i probably should have organized these into sections but we're just going to roll with it so next i brought this i thought this was so cute to just set on the windowsill i know exactly where this is going to go this is going to go in my hallway windowsill and i just thought very autumnal with the colors i think is this pampas grass i don't know if it's pampas grass or not but i just i love pampas grass these do look a little bit like um what are the things that you call that you get at the bottom of the sea? Do you know what I mean? Oh, what are they called? Well, whatever they're called. I do think that they look a little bit like that, which is fine, because we live by the sea, so it's it's not a problem. I don't actually know if this was part of the autumnal stuff or not, or whether it was just taken away from another section um, by somebody else and just plonked in there, but it's all right and I liked it. Keeping with the pampas theme. How cute is this? I mean, I think that's a pampas again, but it says, let's get cozy. And I mean, who doesn't love pumpkins? Let's take that off as well. Who doesn't like pumpkins? I just thought they're so cute. And I already have, I don't know if you can see them properly, but I already have some that are very similar to this. They were from B&M. So not only am I doing the range haul, I will also still be going to Home Bargains and B&M. And there's a garden centre that's near us as well that does like a really nice pumpkin thing. But I mean, we've got we've got so long to go until that. So I need to calm down and not get too excited about it because I mean, we've still got what two months left. Anyway, we're going off topic again. Sorry, I just love autumn. But yeah, I just thought they were really cute. And to go with that one, I picked this one. And I do believe actually this one lights up. I mean, how cute, another little gonk. And he says, hello, pumpkin, which will go with the theme that I've got. I don't know if this, oh, the batteries are not working. Oh, hang on. <laughs> it's got one of them little tags on it. Let's see. <gasps> I mean, you can't really see it, but it's got like little lights on the inside. Does that mean that one lights up? Because that had a little tag as well. As you will tell, this is going to be a very pumpkin and gonk themed haul. I, I think that you're either into gonks or you're not. I am into gonks. He also says hello pumpkin. Ooh. 
And the thing is as well, I saw I've got the latest sitting there and I thought I can't leave him on his own. Does anybody else do that? Does anybody else feel sorry for things and have to buy two? I mean, how cute are they? I've, I am sure, I mean, I actually can't really remember what's in my last years or my last few years collected. Let me start that again. I can't remember what is in the last two years of collecting autumnal stuff i'm sure i've got a few gonks but yeah i just thought that they were really really cute they have loads of these and i'm sure that these were the only two i didn't see any other ones he, like i said he says hello pumpkin so he goes with the rest of the theme he looks like he's going to a pumpkin patch doesn't he mm, i can't wait to get these out if it was my choice i'd have these out all year round like this and christmas although i don't know i don't know which one i like more i think i actually prefer autumnal decor more but Christmas is still the best time. And then I bought, I don't know if these will actually work because I bought some of these off of Amazon. So these are little, they are called tea light wooden log, which is very descriptive because that is what it is. So you get a, a set of two, oh, apologies for my nails, I'm getting them done tomorrow. So they're at the worst state that they can be. Um, you get a set of two and they've got, they've already got their tea lights in them. But I bought some from Amazon a few years ago and the tea lights just don't fit in them. So I'm hoping, because these actually have tea lights already there, I'm hoping that the rest of my tea lights are going to fit in there. How many times do I need to say in there? Yeah, I thought that they were really cute. As I said, I've already got some of these from Amazon, so they will just go collectively with these. I actually did buy tea lights, so let me just find them. Oh my god, this bag is even heavier. I'm sorry that I'm like back and forth with the, the camera angle. Keeping on the theme, these are pumpkin spiced latte tea lights. So these come in a pack of 20 and they have, no way, eight. Oh, oh, okay. So the reason why I was getting really confused is because normally tea lights have like a limit lifetime of like three to four hours. And when this said eight, I was like, hang on a minute, that can't be right. But then I realized that they're like, yeah, yeah. I realized that they're, they're double. So they're actually bigger than an average tea light, which that's pretty good. But I don't know if you're gonna fit in there. This is why you should always read things before you buy them. I mean, I can smell them already. Mm. And they smell so good. I think this is probably one of my most favorite purchases of the whole thing. <laughs> I just think there's something about smells, isn't there? I mean, your home can look how it looks or it can look, it, your home can look autumnal or it can not look autumnal if you're not into all that. But when you've got smells going on, Oh, they take you back to certain times of the year every year and oh, I love it mm, I can't wait I might have to be really naughty and put one on later Shh. Uh, and I've just realized I bought two lots so to be fair 40 I think I could afford to to nick a couple to actually no no don't 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 leave them leave them because then I'll be really annoyed at myself because they won't be there in a few months time so i am gonna leave them we'll stick with the smell so i mean this is for now I, to be fair i bought these for now because my pop pop i can never say this right my pop puree is that correct my pop pop my pop puree the smell's gone so these are vanilla and i am a very vanilla person i do like the scent of vanilla the massive candle that's behind me that you can't probably really see that's vanilla that was from primark and that was 11 pounds so if you've got a home section in your primark get it because it's lasted for eight so it's just some warm vanilla pop puree said it right and when it does turn on to me i already have like a little um pumpkin pop puree holder and last year when i bought it it had I think that was from next so i thought that these would be nice to go back in so these are actually orange blossom which is not really very it's more i think orange reminds me more of christmas but it goes with the theme so orange blossom puree pop puree i'm completely mixing the smells up at the moment because i've also gone for something that is quite christmasy but i mean who doesn't like the smell of white chocolate Mm hmm anything sweet let's have another smell oh that's so good and to be fair this is for now as well because 
I need one for my hallway and my one in my hallway has just gone out. Unpopular opinion, I think that these candles from the range and the ones from Home Bargains are better than Yankee. Only purely because they, they go all the way to the bottom. I mean, sometimes, sometimes the ones from Home Bargains, like when it gets down to here, they don't burn all the way down. However, for like being like a fifth of the price, I mean, I, th I'm, I think the price will tell, like when I put the price on the screen, then you'll see. But I think this was like three ninety nine or something. Whereas at Bloomin' Yankee, that's probably about 20 quid. So I'm more than happy for it to not melt all the way down if it means that I can buy like five of these for the price of one. But very nice. Sticking with the candle theme again. Oh, that smells good. This is vanilla birch. I actually didn't even know what the smell was. I don't like the fact that it's got sellotape all the way over it, but and it, that will need a clean because that doesn't look very nice. Now this one's not too strong, so it's not going to be too vanilla-y. Vanilla-y? Vanilla, vanilla -y. And also, I really like the pot as well, so what I'm going to do is when the candles actually burn, I'm going to scoop whatever's left out of it and just use it as a little pot. <coughs> Two in one bye. <laughs> oh. I, every year I buy more and more pumpkins and every year I don't know where to put them. Come here you. You can get something very similar to this on Amazon. A few years ago I bought, they're probably about a quarter of the size of this and you get a pack of three and there's a gold one, a silver one and like a rose gold one and they do light up. This one won't because it's not got any batteries in it but somebody broke one. So now I only have two and instead of having to buy them again, which I mean, I don't, they weren't that pricey, they, they didn't cost that much, but oh, I don't know if it's the gold one that broke. I'm sure it was the silver one that broke. Either way, these all light up. It's got, I don't know if you can see, but it's where the gold is. It's got speckles on them and the oh, I've got a delivery. One second. I'm still waiting for him to get out of his car about five minutes later, but I don't want to look like a weirdo and just be like, oh. Nothing. Oh my god, so after all that, standing there like a lemon peeping out the windows wasn't even for me. Well, the delivery's not even for me anyway. What was it saying? Yes. So, as you can see, it's got like little speckles in it and then I'm assuming, if I can see, yeah, there's like a little light in there and then it looks so nice. It like glitters around the room. It could be like the mama pumpkin to the two little baby pumpkins. So going along with the Hello Pumpkin theme, this was quite cheap, I think, but I just thought it was really colourful. And the house that we're in now, because we're renting, we can't decorate it. So I think that the colours actually go quite well with the walls and the brown skirt and boards. So I just thought this would be really cute. And then I can't wait. So I was split between two, but I ended up going for this one. How cute is that? So it's a pumpkin duvet set you can't really see can you see the pumpkin i mean how cute is that that's just so nice i've not bought bedding for autumn before so this is the first purchase and now i really think that i should go back and get the other one. Oh no the reason why i didn't get the other one is because they didn't have it in a king they only had it in doubles or like extra king even though I didn't know that you can get extra king. Oh my God, I thought that I got it in a double then. <laughs> so I thought this was really, really cute. There was only one of these left, so I was very lucky. Um, but I might go back and see if they have any more because I prefer the range bedding to B&M. I find that B&M bedding never stays on the, like, on the duvet. I always find like you put it in and then once you've been in bed for like 10 minutes, the duvet itself has like come away from the, duvet the duvet cover has come away from the duvet if you see what i mean so i'm hoping that this one will be much better when i can't wait to put it on i'll have to show you when it is on now i do this all the time i know that i've already got autumnal cushions i know i already have but i've bought more i've bought more and they're not even that autumnal they're just do you know what they're actually very similar to the ones that i've got well, I can just chuck some of the ones that I have now, can't I? 
they are yeah to be fair i'm just going to chuck i've got two over there that i don't need actually no them two can go but anyway to be fair i could put the ones from down here upstairs so i just bought two i mean what color is this jilton I don't know what colour it's in. It just says it's pom pom trim. Okay, so it's like a musty colour. So I bought two of these because I thought that they were really nice and they are very, very nice to touch and nice to like lay your head on when you're getting all cuddled up with your candles on and your autumnal film and it's raining outside and you can just <sighs> cuddle up. And then to add extra comfort, I bought some velvet cushions, some orangey, like dark orangey, like autumn leafy kind of cushions. And these are even softer. So if your other cushion isn't doing it for you, this one certainly will. And uh, like I said, I know for a fact that I have got autumnal cushions upstairs, but we'll add these to the collection. And then I thought this was really cute. So leaves. These are falling, autumn is calling, it was so cute. And I also bought this to go with it. So that's the cushion. And then I bought like a little plaque to go with it. I just thought it's really cute. And I can have this in the living room and then hang this up somewhere else so that it's kind of like, what's the word? Co, co have, no, collaborative, is that the word? Co coherent. So it's coherent, there's a coherent theme going on in the house. <laughs> I'm not the best with words but yeah I just thought that this this one says autumn leaves cakes in tea which I think is so cute as more things come out I'm I'm kind of going for like more this vibe this year like these colors and I think that I have hit the mark but I just this was one of the first things that I saw when I walked in oh there we go there's a delivery my goodness how many deliveries can one man have I thought I was only going to be dealing with one delivery today, but it looks like I'm going to be dealing with two because that's not what we're supposed to be having. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't even know what I was saying, but I just thought that this was really cute. And oh, we've come to the end. Well, that went a lot quicker than I thought. It. So the last thing that I've got, which I don't even know where it's going to go yet. I do this all the time. I have bought a really pretty garland. I mean, look how cute that is. It's got little pumpkins all the way through it. Ooh. And then, oh, it's even got, as you can see, little tiny pumpkins on it. A big acorn and like some more little tiny. And I like, I love this. I love these colours. I think these colours are so pretty. And again, they go really well within our house. I mean, when we do eventually move, I'm just hoping that all these will stay. Oh, sorry, let me just shut the door. There we go. I'm just hoping that all of these colours will stay in theme with whatever our next house is that we go for. But yeah, I was thinking that this might run along there on the fireplace, but it's got this massive hook on the end of it. And knowing Alfie, he'll just come along, see the hook and pull it and then everything will come off. So it might go down the stairs. We'll see when we get there. And that there ends my first autumnal haul. So keep your eye out for another one because I can see myself going to next. We've still got going next. So I haven't even been in there yet. B&M, as I was saying earlier, there's a garden centre that's about an hour away from me. But it does the most amazing pumpkin day out thing. And it runs from, I think the end of September to that, the beginning of November. And the stuff that they have in there is absolutely amazing. So I will probably be purchasing from more of that, but I will keep you updated. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you again also. I said this at the end of my last vlog. Thank you so much to all the people that have took the time to watch my vlogs. I mean, I didn't expect the amount of views that I would get in the first, I don't know, month of doing YouTube. And to let alone to have people subscribe. So whoever has actually subscribed, I just want to say thank you so much. It really, really means the world to me. And I've been very nervous about doing like sit down chats, chatty vlogs, like all that kind of stuff. Just just vlogging in general. Like I've been really nervous about it, but it's something that something, something that I've been wanting to do for such a long time. And I've actually just bit the bullet and just 
just gone for it. So I just, again, thank you so, 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 so much. It really means so much to me. If you haven't actually subscribed yet, and if you haven't liked anything yet, you could subscribe and you could like it. It would make me so happy. And it will just prove to me that I've not got enough stuff yet, so I need to go out and get more. So we're both winners then, aren't we? Again, thank you so, so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. I've said that about a thousand times, so I'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog now. So we'll see you on the next one. Bye.